Hey everyone, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to another video outside of our 1988 Palm Harbor single wide mobile home. We are continuing working on building a new back deck. In last video, I believe we left you guys off with beginning the framing. Mm -hmm. In this video, we're gonna continue working on that. I can't really tell you yet where it's going to end, but this is where we're starting. Let's see where we go. This deck span being 10 feet total from house to end makes me want to put a little bit of blocking in to beefen it up. So I've taken a 2x10 and I've cut me a bunch of blocks and I'm going to put them in the middle, front to back, in between every single one of these deck joists. I'll have to probably stagger them offset by a thickness of a board so that it's easier to attach. But otherwise, I'm going to run a line straight down the middle and that will help keep everything from wiggly, jiggly, flexing and just give it stiffer overall. What it will also do is help disperse and make sure every one of those deck joists are doing their part to carry the loads. Whatever that we may be on top of this deck in the future, we want to make sure everybody pulls their own weight or I guess holds their weight plus more. I'm running pretty low on our three and a half inch long exterior deck screws. So to attach the blocking, I'm gonna be using my pass load cordless nail gun and some galvanized ring shank three inch long nails. The fun part's gonna be getting me in there. I mean, the deck's not super high off the ground, so it's gonna be a whole lot of squat trot or climbing over and hopping down and I don't really look forward to this, but. It's got to be done, so let's get it done. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left. There's the two easiest ones. Let's see, if I stand here... Oh, you've already cut them. I can reach to the right, I can reach to the left, and it'll save me up-downs. But that means you'll need me... Probably to hand me stuff that I drop. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'll be able to reach here now. Skinnier, side to side than 16, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> that way. <laughs> nope. I'm wider than 16. Hey, I want to be on the uphill side of this block so I can climb out easier. Yes. So, why my two by six? supposed to hand stuff now. I've got my serving board. This is my charcuterie board.
All right, we're gonna do the shake test. The whole point of this bracing is this way, the deck's very strong. The beam holds everything good. This way, you've got a lot of flex because you're just on you know, two beams down there. So these diagonals are supposed to fight back and forth movement this way. How do you know if you did a good job, if you can do any difference? You do a shake test before and after. So this is the after shake test. One, you get dizzy, cheap entertainment. Two, that is a lot stiffer than it was before. But now, the only risk is hurting your wrist because you're over 35. It's pretty amazing how much the three two by eights really stiffened up that deck. It did. We don't have to worry about the boys running up on the deck or running out on the deck and shaking everything, especially yeah. as they get older. Or just sitting back here on, I mean, I hope we have some cool furniture someday. Yeah. And just someone walking across, having company over, and just feeling just kinda, it shake. Yeah. You know, yeah. Be like, oh, so uh, yeah, I can tell you built this deck here, Sam. <laughs> They're not going to be able to say that on that subject. We'll have no. to find something else to nitpick. Our next step is to put on double outer joists. So on the left side right here, the right side down there, we're going to double up two by tens. The reason I'm going to do that is so that whenever we have our handrail posts and attach them to the deck, there is substantial amount of meat and wood there that they can attach to, anchor, and it will be very strong. So let's go ahead and drag out two more 10 foot long two by tens, cut them, fit them, attach them, and I think that'll be done for the rough framing. I think we can start laying deck boards. I think. We'll see. I've probably have forgotten something, so don't hold me to it. You know, or your money back, maybe. I don't know. No, no returns. No returns. As I work through attaching this double 2x10 rim joist out here on the end, I am having to pull every trick out of my hat. I'm using a lot of the technique where you drive a screw in one board almost all the way through it and then use your claw hammer to pull and pry to bring the other up or push that one down to make them flush or even on top. I'm also having to use my pipe clamp to bend things to my will and honestly, I'm fighting two different boards that are cupped different ways, bowed sometimes the same, sometimes oppositely. Oppositely, is that a word? I don't know. And otherwise, just trying to get a good looking product here in the end. I saved the best looking 12 foot long two by 10 that we had that was not cracked or any kind of problems with the ends for this outermost application. So I'm really set on using this board. It's also my next to last 12 foot long board, so there's not really many choices out here. I, I mean, I guess I could always stop and go to the store and you know, that would take two and a half hours. So we're pushing through using some tricks of the trade, although my trade is not carpentry, but I'm using those tricks regardless and I'm getting the rim joist attached. So we are ready to deck this thing out. So we have two little helpers with us, at least for now. So it should go quick. Let's go. We're starting at the house side. Oh, we are? Yep, start at the house, work okay. our way out. Well, Isaac, try and push it that way. <laughs> yeah. Isaac, throw this 12 foot board around. <laughs> Bring it back to match me. Pull yours back a little bit. So it gives this room to work. Ooh. Well, if it doesn't look good, I, I bought extras, so we should be able to be picky a little bit. Okay. Right at the camera bag. Wait a Bird on 
on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Well, what was your experiences of uh, building the deck? Uh, it's very cool, and we could put couches there, and a movie thing there, and we could have some popcorn and stuff ready, and we could have movies. That sounds awesome. I love your idea. Yep. Here comes Elijah. Let's get his take, too. <laughs> well, what were your thoughts and everything? I love the deck. It would be nice to have couches, because we could sit out here, um, in the evening, take a rest. What about your Legos? Getting a rug and uh, putting Legos. We could put a rug down and I could, me and Isaac could play with our Legos out here. Yeah, what do you think of that, Isaac? Yeah! Did you hear what brother said? Yep. What did he say? Um, we could put a rug out here and we could play Legos out here. Good, you were listening. <laughs> Alright, we'll tell everybody, see you later. See you later in the next Bye. video. Bye! <laughs> You just jumped off that? Yeah. Crazy. Let me do it again. No, I'm not moving more. I just got I jumped off of something. Missing. Won't be long. We'll put railings up. How awesome does it feel? Come on, spill the beans. It's awesome. We have wanted a deck for so long, 
and it has been like 10 plus years since we've lived in a place that had a deck on it. You say that with some level of anger right there. 10 plus years. <laughs> Are you angry? Well, no, but we had talked for years in um, North Carolina that we wanted a deck of some sort, and we were never able to get one. True. So. North Carolina was much more of a hill. It didn't have room. No room to really do this stuff easily or cheaply. So, that's one reason we were so excited about this flat place. <laughs> Definitely. Well, it feels awesome. Uh, for reference, you guys are right here at the back door. Easily, you could turn around and step in and go into that kitchen, get yourself something to drink or, or food, you know, in the future. In the future. <laughs> right now we have water. That's about yeah. it. <laughs> we have water because we have no power. We're not in the house still, obviously. <laughs> but, I mean, from here, uh, okay, you're at one corner. I'm going to back up and show you, I don't know if it's spatial reference or work. So, I'm at the other corner of the deck. Woo! It's pretty awesome. We were a little bit worried that 10 by 12 initially sounded huge and they just started framing it. We're like, I don't know, it's not as big as we were hoping. I'm pretty happy with the size. Yes, it actually looks like a square. That's what I was thinking, but it's so big and we're talking about how big it's going to feel too once we get the banisters and everything put on. It's going to be mm -hmm. really nice. Yep, and we've talked about looking at outdoor furniture and maybe a rug or something. That would be cool. The deck boards are not perfect. We got them delivered, which means you get what you're given. So it'd be nice to kind of hide some of those a little bit. Yeah. All right, you ready to start building some handrails and putting some more posts up today? Uh, not today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a nice break, go into town. I think it's a pretty fun. good stopping <laughs> point. Yeah. And honestly, the boys did earn money. Although Isaac immediately said, hey, can I have my Where cash? Where is my money? Where are my dollars? I said, um, you got credits from the bank of dad and mom. So they did earn money for all of their hard work. It's one thing we would definitely instill in them is if you want something, work for it. Do some work. It's not going to be fun, but you'll get what you want. Yeah. So now they have holes burning in their pockets. They're ready to go to town, spend some their money. I was about to say my their money. Their credits. Their money. And uh, I don't know. We may look around and dream about patio furniture. Well, guys, thanks for coming along as we worked more on our deck and got the top put on. How exciting. Yep. Remember, <laughs> there's a link to the playlist down below before and after. I'll take you to the end in yes. case you're just here. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on the homestead. See you guys. Bye. I was just totally like. I can't step back too far. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs>not going too fast that's good can't stand the ones that just go flying down the road but still pretty cool car if you happen to see me hobbling around up here it's because i pulled my back out a day or two ago so i'm okay if i'm sitting or if i'm just standing <laughs> but if i try to go from sitting to standing it doesn't work so well <laughs> or if you try and build a deck it doesn't help <laughs> you recover no it doesn't oh well